My name is Minister Leon Banks, and you're watching Jolinda Wade present. Just keep your hands. has been made possible by support from the Willie Mae Moore's Empowerment Foundation. Amen, amen, amen. It is the 10 o'clock hour. I come to say happy Sabbath, Shabbat Shalom to all those who will come and be a part of this festive day that we are having today. I'm coming from the Word of Life Voices, where the voice that you will hear today that will bring you life that would speak life to you would be the, the voice of a very own myself, Pastor Jolinda Wade. I pray that what happens today encourage you. I pray that you get what God have for you to get this day. Let's go into prayer this morning or this afternoon where you are. Father God, in the name of Jesus, in that name that is above every name. Hallelujah. In that name that every knee will bow at. Hallelujah. In that name that holds glory and holds power. We come in that name. And we come thanking you for being God and just being God all by yourself. Praise God. You don't need our help to be you. And so we bless you for that. We come seeking forgiveness for any and all things that we have done against you or our fellow man in our words, in our thoughts, and in our deeds. And we just come relishing in your love. We come relishing in your agape. And we just come thanking you, Father God, for loving the world so much that you gave your only begotten son. And whoever, and we are the whoever today, Lord, that have been called and have been chosen. And we thank you, Lord, for being patient with us as you led us to our call. We bless you. Now bless everyone that's up under the sound of my voice. May they be encouraged today. May it speak to somebody's spirit today. May it speak to somebody's soul today. May it change somebody. May it move somebody. But the only thing we ask is that you have your way today. So Father God, I come to you to be the main speaker as I follow you in the direction that you would have me to go in. In Jesus' name, amen, amen, and amen, and happy shalom again, and happy Shabbat shalom to you. Hallelujah, Jesus. We're going to go in now to a place I call worship. Worshiping at the throne of grace. Glory to God doing what the angels do every 24 hours a day, just worshiping and praising God because of his sovereignty, because of his omnipotence, because of omniscient, because God is God and God is God alone, because of the I am that I am, because of Yahweh, because of Yeshua. Yes, we're going to go into worship. And the three people that I'm going to bring forth to you today are worshipers. They are anointed for what God has placed into them. Two of them are my very own spiritual sons that came up out of new creation, binding and loosening ministries international. When we flourished and when we did what God had us to do on that particular assignment. Hallelujah, Jesus. And now they're assigned other places and they're doing amazing. Why? Because they're following God. One of my sons that you will hear is a song that's going to come from a minister, Malcolm Simmons. And he did a song called Your Name. Oh my God, God sent it to me this morning and changed the whole worship process. Because we're honoring what? His name. The second one you will hear is a young man that I have not met personally, but I worship, and I worship with him daily. And his name is Elijah Oyelabi. And he gonna sing spirit praise. Oh my God, that song is from Nigeria, it's from the African. And guess what? God wants us to open up our mind to worship, not only in our little pocket of the world, but to be able to open up our minds and worship in any pocket of the world. 
Hallelujah, Jesus. God is the God of music. And then the last one you will hear is my very own son, Minister Norris Thompson, who sung a song that resonated with me well, back in the year when it came out and it spoke to me in my worship and God said, them are the three that I want to be you to worship from today. So no further ado, we're going to go in to worship at the worship. We're going to come out and I'm going to come with the word. You definitely stay with me. It's called Chosen to Stand in the Gap. Glory to God. Let's go and worship. One thing I know for sure, Hallelujah. that your word is true, Hallelujah. every knee shall bow, Minister every Malcolm tongue shall confess, your name. that you are Lord, so we welcome you, come on Jesus. God is welcome in my room, God is welcome in my room. God is welcome in my room. God is welcome. Father, you're welcome. Welcome in my heart. God is welcome in my mind. Welcome. Come on. Testify. Come on. 
Yes, now. Come on. Say, Almighty God. Almighty God. He's a great idea. He never lied to me. He's a Go ahead, Minister Malcolm Simmons. Glory to God. Praise him. Praise him right there. Rest in peace. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Now we will go to our next worship glory to god i'm doing my own thing here so bless with me but it's a song that i know that god will have me to play today as well go and worship with me this is brother elijah oh yeah lobby hallelujah jesus glory to your name Woo! hey yes yes i'm gonna sit down on this one that my world's been not as rest The reason you're in my spirit That I cannot communicate Spirit, hear the voice of my heart Praise to, to the, the Father, Father. Spirit, praise Praise to the Father I can't really see everybody's comments, so forgive me if I don't say anything back, but welcome again to Word of Life Voices, where the voice that you will hear right now that's going to bring life to you is from Brother Elijah Oyebene, Spirit Praise. Listen to the word. Mm. Yeah, 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 Jesus. Hallelujah, Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, let that that song just come on with you. Come on. Spirit have your way. Spirit have your way. Pray to the Father. Spirit pray to my Spirit pray. Pray Spirit. Pray to my Father. Spirit, have your way. Spirit, pray and have your way. He's asking the spirit to take control. Hey, spirit, have your way. Spirit of life. Spirit, take control. Just take control. Hallelujah. 
You know, as humans, we can mess it up sometimes. So, Spirit, you take control. Spirit, you pray. You pray to the Father. Jesus. Oh, that song. Let it take control. Spirit. Are you enjoying the worship this morning? Are you enjoying the worship this Saturday? This Sabbath? Well, it's morning here, but wherever you're at, are you enjoying it? Worship in the middle of the day, man, I can't think of no other way to have it. Glory to God. Let's go now to my spiritual son, Norris Thompson. Hey, some of you old timers from New Creation Bomb, y'all remember this. You're not only New Creation, 102.3 FM, that's where he played from. You all have heard it. Such an anointing song. Such a song to give God all the praise and all the honor. Come on, Norris. Sit up in my room Thinking about my life Back when I was a child Up to the time right now Trying to figure it out Where would I be Without you in my life can I go on and on and on and on and on How? How? Come on, sing it, Norris. I wake up late sometimes. Worship, son. Worship there. Down on my knees, I pray. I cry. Where did my mother go? Where did my father leave? How did I end up this way? Why would I be? And don't you know God loves to hear that? He loves to hear that you need Him. Do you know that? Woo! Be back at the institution. Now that you're in my life, things are much better now. Look at my great big smile, all the joy coming out. Everything's okay. I have much brighter days. I have brighter days. Where would I be without you? Praise him, worship him right there. Don't, shine, don't, shine. don't nothing happen without you, huh? The heavens declare the glory of God. Firm and sure, his handiwork. Woo! Man, I, I don't I don't even want to I don't even want to think about where I'd be without him. What about you? I don't even want to think about it. What? Leaving me to my own self? No. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, bless you, Jesus. No one would I be? Where 
pray you enjoyed our worship moment, time when we was able to get in before the Lord and just praise Him and just drop everything that have encircled our life or our day and just setting it, setting it down. Matter of fact, get rid of it. Don't even put it in the corner. Get rid of it. It's dump. It's waste. Oh Lord, where would I be without you in my life? Spirit, pray. Pray to the Father your name it, it, just releasing you in my room what a powerful powerful worship we had today also want to come with a praise report before i be able to get into the word here like i want to get into it you remember thursday god brought me on uh facebook live and i asked uh god sent me to the prayer community praise god because of a friend of mine a very dear friend of mine who had texted me and she said i'm scared sister I'm in the hospital. I have COVID. They say both of my lungs have pneumonia. I'm worried about my daughter. And I usually, well, I went where I was supposed to go and that was on the altar. God bless you, she's on now, Bernal Moss. Hey sis, I love you, I love you back. I went to the altar and God gave me instruction and he said, I want you to go and I want you to bring, this, to bring the prayer community in on this. She said, this is Mama Lean for all of you all that didn't get it. Hallelujah, Jesus. And so I did. I went in and I brought the prayer community in because I know prayer can change the world. Prayer can change things. I know God answers prayer. Amen. And it was not even an hour later when she texted me and she said, oh, my God, this is what's happening. They're coming in from everywhere. They're doing so much, sister. And I said, oh my God, prayer immediately went to work. And then I get a text from her daughter because remember it was a mother and daughter situation. The daughter was, uh, had contracted taking care of mommy. So it was a mother and daughter situation. And I get a text from her daughter. She said, I'm bringing mom home from the hospital. Now, I don't know about y'all, but that's a, uh, that's, a, that's a jump up and down thing there. That's a shout, glory to God. God answered that prayer immediately. And so today she's on uh, Facebook uh, Live with me. She's on here as Bernal Moss. She's at Mama Lean. And you remember she did Olivia Soul Food down there on 129th and Halsted, down the street from the church when she had the best food that was walking. Thank you God for Mama, Mama Lean. Thank you for her life. Thank you Father God for her health. Thank you God, Father God for bringing her out of that hospital Father God. Thank you for her daughter, her daughter's love, her daughter's strength. Thank you for your mercy Father God that's extended day by day. Thank you for being the healing God, the God of all, of all things that we need. Thank you God for being the source. So we bless you and we love you in Jesus name. Hallelujah Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You all go and you all tell Mama Lean, tell her the fight is already won. Hallelujah. Let me hear somebody tell her the fight is already won. Come on, encourage her. She on here today. The fight is already won. Glory to God. And as you see, without me even knowing the title of the message that day when she texts me, you can see that's exactly what happened. I was chosen to stand in the gap. Glory to God. Bless you, Jesus, for being God and just being God all by yourself. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. My message today is going to be took from the book of Ezekiel, chapter 22, verse 30. Come on. Ezekiel, chapter 2, verse 30. And there it reads, I look for someone among them who will build the wall and stand before me in the gap to stop me. I know I want to, I want to, I want to read it right on behalf of the land. So I would not have to destroy it. Five words, but I found no one. Now 
that particular verse, when I read the really the story, I was outdone. It brought sadness to my heart because I'm trying to imagine the Lord seeking for someone that he created to help, to stand before him, he say, to stand in the gap, to prevent him from destroying the land and he couldn't find no one. Hallelujah. So before I go into my explanation of that particular story, before we get deep into it, I just want to uh, get a little personal with you. And you might see me reading a little bit sometime. I know I'm not used to it, but um, apparently this is the way that God is having me to go to keep me on my point. Amen. So the question that I will ask you is, have you ever needed someone to stand in the gap for you? Have you ever needed someone to stand in the gap for you? Come on now. I want to answer that. I know I have. Hallelujah. And many times people did. They stood in the gap for me. And if it had not been for them people standing in the gap for me, I have no idea at all where I, my life would be right now. But they was chosen by God, I found out later, to stand in the gap for me. Hallelujah, Jesus. And I, too, have stood in the gap for many people. So you give and you put out. You get and you put out. You get and you put out. I got someone to stand in, and then I was called to stand in for somebody. I want to just give you a little list of people who stands in the gap. Policemen, firemen, doctors and nurses and teachers, they stand in the gap. Preachers, apostles, bishops, they stand in the gap. Your mama, your parents, your grandparents, they stand in the gap. People who are at different places in their life, who do different types of jobs, guess what? They don't even know, but they're standing in the gap for somebody or for something. Come on now, glory to God. So God now wants me to release me now to tell a testimonial story. While I was preparing the lesson, he took me to uh, when I was in, um, when I was at Oakland Elementary School and I was in the fifth grade. I'm gonna do a little reading. And we were out to what we call recess. I don't know if they still have recess today, but we were out to recess. And while I was out there, I noticed that there was this group of girls who were bullies. And this is known to have happened more than one time. So I saw this as a pattern that was going on with these particular girls. They were picking at this Indian girl that was at our school. Now this girl has some very, very pretty long hair. And I was noticing how they were pulling on her hair. I mean, like I said, this wasn't just one recess time. This was every time we go out for recess. I can imagine the fear that was in her or just not even wanting to go to recess because she knew that she was getting ready to be bullied. Now, she didn't dress the best, but guess what? Her mama had her clean. She didn't smell. So her parents made sure she was okay there. I'm going to say that these particular girls, what they did, they found reason because what happened, they was comparing themselves to her. You might have been one that was bullied or you might have been one that was a bully. The thing is, is to stand up for your own stuff. Glory to God. 